Hello, this is Bryn TRM here, aka the Redstone Master, and today, um, with Pokemaster89, I will be touring my pixel art world. So, alright, so let's begin with Pokemaster89's amazing Pikachu, and I've never seen a Pikachu better than this. Yeah, and then this is an unfinished, um, oh, what's his name? Uh, uh, alright, and then, um, Sahir and Carpets. We have um, my melon slice over here. We have Cody, er, no, Pokemaster 89's stick. Pokemaster 89's house. And then, and then, yeah. And then we also have a Pokeball. Um, we have my golden apple. golden apple. We have my cake. Okay. We, we have someone else's. Have yeah, we have someone else's toilet, and also I added a little flushing system. What is the flushing system then? It's just down at the bottom. You'll see a little hole if you go through it. Yeah, so you can just drop through. And then also I have the world famous TNT cannon. Oh right, I blew it up on accident. Let's just make another one. Yeah. Yeah. And also something very funny, guys, is if you turn closed caption onto my videos. I say some very weird things. Yeah, and 50% of the things I say, I actually didn't say. So. That actually makes absolutely no sense. 50% of the things that I said, I actually didn't say. Hello. Okay. Hello. I'm just trying to grab all the materials for uh, for uh, TNT can. Alright, so you're teaching them how to go TNT can? Yep. Slab here, slab here. Okay. Block, block, block. Like that. And then you make a few more blocks. And over here you put it like that. Oops. You want the dispensers to be facing it like that. Also make sure you crouch when placing the dispenser. Oop, wait, I forgot the lever. Wait, I'm gonna test something, but it's gonna be far away. Okay. Alright, and then you place that. And then place that and that. And place that. Whoops. That. 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 Place these two water buckets down. Like that. And you place a button here. Then I can get rid of everything in my inventory and grab lots of TNT. Alright, I'll do that. Okay, you can fill. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in every single thing. Um. Well, I'm kind of filling. Ah, some of them. Alright. I guess we can do it this way. Um, TNT. I always forget what TNT is. It's in redstone for some reason. Why is TNT even in redstone? I mean, it can be powered by redstone, but it isn't technically redstone. It should be in miscellaneous. It should be in miscellaneous. Yeah, it should be in miscellaneous. Or death traps, whatever. Yeah. 
Why do I have ink sack and some redstone in this pizza? Alright, uh, more TNT. More TNT. I And it's so funny because developer Steve looks so much like he's in the plastic texture pack. Okay, anyways, let's show you how the first part works. So, you must have water there or else it'll blow your whole thing up. See? When TNT is in water, it won't blow anything up and also won't hurt you if you're in survival. But what you do is that, and then if it flick... I'm gonna do it. Gonna do it Here, you push the button, and I'll flip the lever. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Um. Okay. Let's do that again. Okay, this time I'm gonna. This time I'm gonna fire absolutely loads. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Goodbye, TNT. <laughs> um, alright. You absolutely made a mess. That didn't work very well. Um, oh yeah, we also have this. This was very cool. I learned a really funny way to make an armor stand. Watch. Ready? Push the button. Push the button and then look in there. No, come, come over here. Over here. Now look inside, now stand on this. Stand, no, get on it, don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Stand right there. Stand right there. Ready, set. Ta-da! Steve, it's Steve. It's your twin brother. Also, you can't even get Steve heads in creative, can or er, survival, I mean, can you? Yeah. I mean, but, but you can in every other game, though. Well, not, not... Any, any, any. Yeah, and that's really, there's only... I'm gonna go start showing them a little bit more of our pixel world. Alright. So, I have done quite a few videos here. This was my, um, my top five redstone. This was the working furnace. Or, not furnace, you know, oven. This was the working fireplace. And then this is a little tiki hat that my Ollie built. The real my Ollie. Evil my Ollie. Evil my Ollie. And then also I have lots of traps over here for griefers. Me and Pokemaster89 have built some of those. This is a really cool trap by the way you guys. I'll kind of tell you how to make it. You would open this up. Do not open. Golden apples. Boom. Crushed. Dead in, de dead in survival. And I... <gasps> I'm glitched inside. I, gl I glitched inside. Come into the trap. Oh. Um. It's here. Well, this is kind of how it works, I guess. You can kind of see. This is a bunch of redstone torches leading from a redstone signal. That's a trap chest, so a redstone signal goes through that. Up through. And then t through redstone torches. Um, I can't really show you guys. Sorry. But, um, basically... It goes like there's a piece of redstone dust down there, 
right behind the chest, which, uh, okay, which leads over there, down to this redstone torch, which is, but there's another redstone torch way down there, basically using the redstone torch sim bleh, signals, it ends up here, and then when, and then when you open the chest, it powers all this redstone to push down those pistons, and when those pistons are pushed down, it crushes you, and apparently teleports you up here. And then this is our pose of working piston elevator, which doesn't actually work. We also have Stampy here. The three stages of Stampy. Also Stampy House. We have an item frame. We have another griefer trap. And then we also have this. This is like, ooh, some wire. Let's go swim in it. Wait, that did not work well. Ooh, some, wait. Shh. Ooh, some water. Let's just dive in. Ah, dead. Hello. So that's basically. So that's basically how that works, you guys. And then we also have this fence post. We have this weird TNT sign made by some guy. We have my gold nugget. We have Pokemaster 89's boat. Pokemaster 89's boat. We have Emoli. Yep. And the cake's tindable one. And, um. I. Yeah. Then we also have a bunch of weird creepy armor stands. Also somebody took one of your armor from the armor stand. I know. And um let's see, there's one more thing. What was it? Oh dear, I can't remember what it was. There's one more thing. Alright, oh, my ender dragon head. This is my ender dragon head, everybody. I'm very proud of it. I did the dimensions a little bit off, so it's not perfect. Alright, you know that weird glitch that makes it so that, um, so that the chickens die faster underwater? Yeah. It works the same with sheep and other animals. I think it's because they, like, glitch into the other block, and then they just suffocate. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, guys, I think that is the end of the video. Let's see, is there anything else around here? Oh, there is! My Ollie's house. My house. Yep, this is my Ollie's safe house. You're safe from zombies. You can go into here. Yep, this is the bed. This is the bedroom. This is the bathroom. What the? The toilet. Why is there a hole? Alright, we'll fix that later. I don't know. We'll fix that later. And then there's a nice little, little um, sauna. Small, small pool. Yeah. And then there's the office. I found a black sheep. And then there's also, um, black sheep, black sheep. The, o the only grass in the entire world. The only grass in the entire world is here, guys, so all the animals spawn here, so. There's actually some grass that fake my alley treehouse. Oh, true. Anyways, guys, I think, I think that'll end the video here. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Hope to see you all in the next episode. Bye!